Hey guys, what's up? Alien One Tech here, here to do a quick unboxing of this Samsung BDES 6000. All right, let's get to the intro. All right, now that you guys are back, yes, I'm doing a quick unboxing, but it's really not an unboxing because it's just a refurbished version, as it says right there. All it came in was this bunch of wrapping crap paper, and uh, other than that, it came with a Blu-ray player. Uh, control for the Blu-ray player also controls the TV. That's why it has two here. Also, the power connector, and also the quick setup guide and the user manual user manual now let's push that stuff to the side there because we're not going to use that anymore let's get to the pride and joy of the video now here in the front of this blu-ray player you see the power stop play pause and eject buttons they're all touch with so all you have to do is just touch them not press but they do not have no led backlight so they don't really show that it actually turns on that you can actually use it um, the only thing that shows that it w it is on is this LED light right here in the corner here that you can't really see until it's actually on is a little LED light to show that it's it is on um, other than that these do not light up which basically kind of sucks other than that you have the logo here the blu-ray 3d and also the area where you actually put the CD so here on the top you have the uh, Samsung logo and here now in the back Make sure that is in uh, in focus there. Now the uh, USB here, you can put one in there. Uh, HDMI out, HDMI out, audio out, LAN, and the DC to power the sucker up. Um, now here in the LAN, uh, so if you want to use an Ethernet cable to use, you can use that. But if you have Wi-Fi at your house, you can just use the Wi-Fi because it has Wi-Fi integrated into this little system here. Um, other than that. Um, that's all that's to show of this guy here. Now, what makes this guy so special is that it was showcased at CES um, 2012 this past year. I mean, this year, it's not 2013 yet, but it was showcased at 2012 CES for the price tag about uh, about 180 to $200 or so. Um, but this is the refurbished version. So I got it for about $100, which is a really good price for this guy. Definitely really nice. The reason why it's so expensive though is because it comes with a smart technology. It's a Samsung Smart Blu-ray player is what it's really called. And with that, instead of buying a $1,500 TV that has smart technology integrated in it, I could just already have my own TV and just buy one of these with a Blu-ray player already with it and with this um, smart technology where I can, uh, you know, have, you know, cutting edge TV apps and browse, uh, well, browse the internet. So all using this thing called a, a smart hub. Now that's pretty neat. That actually is pretty neat. Um, other than that, all it really has is this thing called R share play and also this BD wise web where you can watch like high definition videos with this BD wise technology. And the last thing this thing has is a AnyNet plus technology. So other than that, that's all the neat features it has. Um, for about $180 if you want to pick up a brand new or refurbish for $100. But, uh, but this is it, guys. Thanks for watching my uh, quick unboxing or so. Not really unboxing, but what, whatever. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So um, peace out, and uh, bye.